first impressions from our little walk where we saw litter through the streets. Really dirty, even though I know it's not as dirty as it could have been because people come in and sleep and wait every evening, but still too dirty for one of our major transportation areas. There was a concern about the garbage reaching into the Constitution River, which leads straight into the ocean. And as we know, it impacts on the turtles and the marine environment. People have been putting their litter in piles, and that to me is positive. It shows if there was a litter bin, then people would be using it. One of the things that we would have noticed is garbage or litter from fast food chains or from companies that manufacture juices or, or snacks. A lot of times companies do put anti-littering messages on their packaging, but the responsibility comes back to the individual using the item to actually take the time to put that item in, in the garbage. That makes me ask the question, why do people litter? Some people just don't even see it as their responsibility. You can hear you hear many people say, well, somebody can clean it up. That's my job. Um, I think it is laziness that they don't want to actually go out to, to go and throw it in the bin. What are some of the effects of littering on our environment? Say we get a pretty strong set of rain today, within an hour, it's going to flood. Why? Because all our drains are actually clogged with litter, so the water cannot get into it. Given that the Caribbean, generally speaking, is a tourist destination, it's important that the Caribbean would encourage tourists to come. If tourists aren't going to be interested in coming to a place that's filthy. There's the, the rodent problem or the vermin problem that can come from the um, litter collecting water, producing more mosquitoes, um, the food encouraging mice and rats. So we really need to do something about it. What can we do? What can be done about littering? So I think we have to start thinking about littering and not littering very long term because we heard all the negative effects that it will have. We can have messages um, tailored at different ages, different audiences, you know. I think what would help a lot along with that is the internet. Everybody's on the internet. I mean, if we keep throwing it at them, you know, don't litter. Keep showing them. Uh, we can start really targeting behavior. And if we, if we do it from as simple as starting our trash at home, you start to inculcate a practice of, listen, there's a reason why you do this. And I think if the onus is on the governments to have uh, more litter bins and also to, to raise awareness in schools in terms of education. What I think we can take away from this discussion is that each of us has a responsibility. We can do something in our own circle of influence. Make sure that we are representatives of an, an anti-littering behavior pattern and it would definitely make a huge impact on our environment and making sure that we realize and respect the areas that we are so blessed to live in.